guys and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines The Chelsea Challenge with me, Pug Gaming. Now it has been a little while since I released another of the Chelsea Challenge series and the main reason being is there's been a lot of issues with my City Skylines setup, not only recently since the update but before that unfortunately my computer completely crashed and I went to try and upload it and refresh onto a brand new computer format and unfortunately it wasn't loading the game at all so I had to undo all the mods and start from the beginning and by the time I managed to get it just about to load the update hit and all of the well all of the mods and everything that screwed the game up so I'm hoping in a few days time that will clear but the good news is, is I recorded this just before all of this outbreak happened, so hopefully we can enjoy this and we'll get back into the swing of things once City Skylines is back up and running. So what we're working on today, we are starting here with the Fulham Broadway station and we're going to try and fit this in here. We can't find anything that's too perfect and I'm going to have to add this road in here to really get a station sort of parallel to the rest of the actual track. So we're going to choose one of these stations here, I think. That one possibly. We just want something small here really, nothing too over the top because we need to still connect the uh, train tracks up and it's a shame because we can't really make this area where the uh, sort of, it's like a shopping centre I guess is the best way to describe it. We can't really do that here with the assets we've got so we're going to have to just block fill some of these um, areas in just to sort of replicate that it's a, a shopping area. So we're going to have to use a bit of the move it mod here um, to try and move the station down a little bit because the, the actual track itself doesn't quite have enough space to go under that road um, which is a little bit annoying but that's the advantage of using the the move it tool so if we move this back a little bit and the good thing is that the, the rail still connects so we can do what we want here as long as we get it into position move that back a little bit and now we might be able to go under might have to go back a little bit more actually but yeah I'm really hoping that the issues with city skylines get sorted pretty quickly as I've got a, a new idea for a competition over Christmas which um, a few of you may have already seen some of the notes about on my social media um, profiles but there's gonna be a couple of giveaways and there's currently a poll going across to see what you guys would prefer uh, the three options I may even choose all three or a couple of them but the three options at the moment is a copy of City Skylines a um, copy of an expansion pack probably the disasters it's the most recent and or a steam voucher so obviously a couple of you guys who watch this for fun and don't really want to play the game this the um, steam um, actual voucher there will obviously cover more bases and I want to do this for you guys I don't want to give something away that the winner isn't going to want to have or sort of you know make use of so jump on Twitter and check out my current poll uh, there's still a few days left to get your input and whatever the outcome is we'll, um, we'll go with that Right, anyway, so back into the challenge. We're now going to move on to the um, little area where the Fulham and Broadway church is. Um, obviously, we don't have the exact replica, but the closest match we have, or what I've got within my um, list of assets, is this one here. So we're going to plop this down here. And then either side of this little road here are shops, like I said before. So. We haven't quite got the uh, the angles right um, or the space that we really need to, to show off this area but we're just going to, as I say, fill in with some commercial um, zoning just to sort of try and bring out the replication of this being a shopping area. And the next thing now is we're going to move up to the London Rattery school area so this is along Seagrave Road um, that sort of area um, where it's quite close to the Fulham Ambulance Station actually so what there is here on the um, I think they call it Brompton Park 
is there's a lot of sort of flatty apartment areas so we're gonna just plop some of these in into this area here just above the station um, again we can't replicate this ideally as we want to but we will do our best so um, we'll put a few in here and down there we'll try and fill out a few shops here we're trying to still replicate that this is a commercial zone and we'll put those in here what we'll do now is we'll jump into a short time lapse just whilst I fill out some more of these commercial zones and we'll catch up shortly Okay, so that's a lot of housing areas completed now. Um, a lot of detailing to do, but we're going to just jump into a little let's play here for the Ilbrook Common, which is one of the few sort of grassy areas um, around this area. And we're going to try and copy this as best we can, uh, just to sort of make things look a little bit more realistic and make it come alive. As you can see, as soon as you start adding in the trees like I'm doing here, things do start to look a little bit more realistic and when you're using the city skylines as it is a standard when you're just doing block buildings without any sort of foliage or, or sort of detail and decor on the floor it's not until you add those when it really comes alive so we're going to add as best we can to replicate this area here and we'll do a bit more as well around some of the houses but we'll do that shortly And what we're going to try and find here as well is in the top corner 
of Elbert Common. There it is, a small five-a-side football pitch. Um, well, there was when I was last there. I'm not too sure what it's like now. But we'll have to add one of the five-a-side pitches which we've downloaded and we've used before in the past and just plop it in this corner. So up the top-hand corner. So it's right at the north side of the common. And we'll try and fit it in here. We probably can't get it exact to how it is but we'll add it in here just to just to add to the, the atmosphere. So once that's done, we will jump into one final time lapse before we have a review of this um, episode. And we'll just add a bit of foliage around. Like I say, we want to try and make this area a little bit more complete and sort of fill in the voids of the grounds that you can see. Like I said, this series isn't going to be as detailed as my British challenge but we want to still make it look a little bit more realistic and a little bit more clean and tidy. So we'll jump into a time lapse and we'll catch up shortly. So guys, there we have it. The area is now complete. We've added the trees around, a little bit of decor and creativity around there as well. But you can see things are starting to come alive a bit more now in this area. And we're trying to, like I say, replicate as best we can. And I think we've done a fairly good job today, especially with the Ilbrook Common area. And as you can see from this aerial shot, things are starting to come together. A lot more still to do. But keep watching and we'll get to the end of it. Thanks for watching and all the best.